Okay, now first things uh, to do here are setting up the uh, the audio. Let's have a look at this. GarageBand has a set of preferences here, and I want you to go to those. Um, now let's make some changes here. Uh, GarageBand will use this as default information when exporting your songs. You can change that to yours. Let's, um, I might just change that to Dave's playlist. Do, do, do. There we are, Dave's playlist. Um, playlist number two. Uh, who's the composer? It's uh, always me, Dave Brown. What a wonderfully common name I have. And uh, the name of uh, will be Dave. Brown's uh, podcast. Okay. Metronome I'm not interested in at the moment because I'm not doing any musicy bits. Um, ask before dis uh, discarding unchanged, uh, unsaved changes in instruments and presets. Yes. Render a preview when saving um, allows you to view GarageBand projects in other iLife applications, but takes longer with each time you save, and that's not a problem. So leave that there. But most of the time with Apple, I've found that what they use as a preset is pretty good. There aren't many things you want to change, and if they've put them as a preset, if they come up already ticked, then it's probably a good idea to leave them. Uh, now, audio is the one that's important because it depends on how you're recording, and it's good to have a microphone of some sort. Now I found that um, I use a Logitech headset cost in Australia about 30 bucks the cheapest chips uh, and um, what I found is that they're, they're great you've got headphones there so you can you know listen without disturbing everybody else in the house they've got a good quality microphone and uh, I really think that that's probably all you need um, they, they come uh, with a USB input and I think that that's probably the best way of doing it. I put mine through um, an iMic uh, USB um, interface because I foolishly went and bought one of these bloody things that had a jack on it instead of a USB. <laughs> so luckily I had an iMic USB audio system uh, USB thing which allowed me to plug a, a jack into the into it. But you know there's a number of different ways of getting um, uh, sound into a Mac depending on what you've got but for instance if you've got a mini Mac um, the USB um, hubs are really good little hub to, to whack stuff into anyway it uh, depends on what you've got okay you can of course also use the built-in one so that gives you an option you can do line in or you can do um, you know uh, microphone and so forth but um, I'm not doing that um, I'm putting the audio output as the built-in output, the speakers on the on my iMac. Um, the reason is so that you can then hear it through my microphone. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear it. But normally, I would put it through the um, the earphones that I'm using because then I can hear it nicely. But for the moment, I'm leaving it at that. Uh, if you change any of them, it comes up and says, you know, do you want to um, change the driver? And you'd click yes, but I'm going to click no. Uh, loops. Um, don't worry about that. Export um, audio podcast setting. Well, it's a spoken podcast. If you haven't got stereo microphone, then you may as well make it a mono because it's a. Uh, it'll probably save you a little bit of bandwidth. Uh, movie settings. Um, we're going to be doing it for if we do a movie one. We'll cut. We'll do that when we come to the movie one. Publish a podcast, set artwork to recommended size for podcasts, 300 by 300 when exporting. How good's that? Well, that's all we need to do, and I'll show you how we whack that on in a minute. Um, and the maximum number of tracks. Uh, just leave that as all automatic, and don't worry about that. The main thing really is your audio, so that you've got the audio set up that uh, fits perfectly for your... Uh, situation that you're recording in. Okay, if you hear me stopping and starting all the time, it's because I've got a, a very demanding parrot who's um, only seven months old and is constantly asking me to do things. And I've also got a wild duck that lives inside with me, who's, who I've had since day one and 
called Woody, and she's absolutely beautiful. But um, she's constantly talking and chatting in the background. You can you can hear this thing. It sounds like a human laughing. Da 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 da, like that. She's an Australian wood duck. So it's a bit of an odd menagerie in this house with three dogs and uh, sixteen ducks. I think I've got now. And oh god, on it goes. Anyway, on to the next. <laughs> 